Hey, what's going on guys? This is Chad and welcome back to another episode of Bloodborne. Today we are going to be taking on the One Reborn and then we'll go take on Dark Beast Parl. And finally we will head to Eileen the Crow over at the Grand Cathedral. And then once we take her out we're actually going to go back to Yusefka's clinic because we can kill her now. Make sure you drop out of that window before the elevator goes down. And I actually feel stupid because I just realized that the place we found in the last episode, I couldn't figure it out. It's the shortcut uh, to get down here. And basically, what this is going to allow us to do is we can get right to the boss fight without having to run past all those jack-in-the-box guys save a lot of time for sure so we're gonna run out here and then hop down this ladder just make sure you don't fall off then oh he followed us no big deal jump down here and voila there is the boss room okay for this fight there is going to be one let's see I believe oh actually we can summon someone why not why not who's this gonna give us Alfred okay on the top of each side there's gonna be four bell ringers they won't summon anyone but they will actually shoot at you so our first goal is going to be running to that back left corner so we can get upstairs and then we will run through kill all of them and then we will start to fight him he's not terribly uh, difficult most of his attacks are frontal so just try to stay on his side and you do gotta dodge his legs a little bit but even when they hit you it's usually not for a whole lot of damage he does have a guy that's kind of coming out of the top of him I guess you'd say and he will shoot some arcane attacks that are pretty damaging so you mainly got to watch out for that <clears throat> we can see him up there it gives you the kind of the hint that they're actually the ones summoning him here that's kind of weird he basically is birthed out of the sky and that's gonna be the guy that's on top that does the arcane attacks Kind of looks like that dude from Terminator. Alright, just run over to the left, go in this hallway. And then we'll go over here, up the stairs. And I got my threaded cane up to plus nine. You can see they're shooting stuff. And he can actually reach this high. So watch out for that. Oh, maybe it's only three on each side. Oh, completely missed. And those witches, I don't think they heal him. I've never not killed them first, but I don't guess that would surprise me. Oh, and I just realized what they're shooting at. I forgot we had Alfred, so he's down there. Hopefully doing okay. Ah, she's 
still alive, I think. That's alright, we'll go down there and kill her. If she is... So you can see here's the boss. It's kind of hard to tell which is even the front or the back. Just stay generally. Oh, that was the arcane attack. Totally missed it. Can be kind of hard to see. Oh, and he did kick us, but you can see it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Definitely helping that we got Alfred here. And that is it. Easy. Pick up Yellow Backbone. Oh, that's not Alfred. Either way, he wrecked shop, so we'll keep him around. And then we've actually got to go up here first so we can open the second floor of the lecture lecture building talk to this guy very nice very nice okay we'll light the lamp here and take a pause for just okay let's go back to the hunter's dream and we can probably level up now that's a good idea since we're gonna go directly to fight another boss so let's go to Da, 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 da. I guess we gotta go to the second. Yeah. Yahar Ghoul Chapel. And this dude's going to be similar to Vicar, Amelia, Bloodstarved Beast, kind of that same. Oh geez, we completely forgot to level up. Uno momento, por favor. That was silly. At least I remembered there. Okay. Come on, lady. Um. Well, we can only level up once, so I guess we'll do skill. And we're out of here. Let's try this again. I oh, like I was saying, he's similar to Vicar, Blood Starved Beast. He's got that same kind of look to him. It's actually been quite a while since I've fought this guy. I didn't fight him on my last playthrough on the other character, but I did on the first one. So I don't 100% remember all the strategies. Basically, uh, we're just going to go in and whoop his ass. That's pretty much what it boils down to. Okay, here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Boing! Oh, sorry. This is not the Mario. Okay, we'll just run by all these guys. Oh, I can get shot in the back. Hang a right. Down the stairs, and then go back down, and then let's see. 
Should be this one. Yeah, this looks right. And there's that gonna be that wolf in here. Well. What used to be a wolf. I think we renamed them to foot and butt. Cause that is more fitting. Okay, so here we are. And I didn't even look. You can see him over there. Ah, there is a summon. We'll go ahead and do that. Why not make it easier? Oh, and it's that same guy. Hopefully he'll help us to wreck some more shop. You don't have to summon these guys uh, if you want. I've already beat them before, so I don't feel terrible about getting a little, little assistance. Oh, sweet. And he's got the flame sprayer. Usually these type of guys are more susceptible to that. So here we go. Oh, and I forgot he's electric. Okay. Alright, so that's apparently his little charge attack. Usually you don't want to be in the front of them, like I am. All right, charge attack. Get back in tall. Oh, he's actually smart. Okay. I think it's safe to assume that bolt paper is not going to do anything to this guy. Oh shoot! I did not back up quick enough. Nonetheless, we are still alive and kicking. Oh, that was a sick hit. Come on. Oh, nice. Another 500. You get some good attacks on this guy. I guess if you hit him. Get out of there, Anatol. Oh, he didn't blow up. Oh, there he is. Oh, and you can see he's getting pissed now. Oh, that somehow missed us. We got super lucky. I'm going to switch to the whip. Just because things are getting pretty dicey pretty quick. Alright, he's down. He is down. Spark Hunter badge. Sweet. I actually don't even remember getting that previously. So that's cool. Okay, get this door over here and you'll recognize where we are. This episode's going, <clears throat> excuse me, way more smoothly than I anticipated. Okay, you'll see this is old Yarnum, uh, where those wolves are patrolling. It was, it was towards the end. And you can see that's back up to where... We were in that chapel with all those shitloads of dudes, and then we came over here. So that is now open. Uh, if you want to do uh, the little mini quest to go talk to that mini gunner guy, go uh, that way, and it'll let you get to that ladder that goes back up to his thing. And since he doesn't see you enter, he'll actually befriend you. And I think he gives you, he might give you a badge. But the downside is once you do that, if for whatever reason you're back in this area, if you kill anything, he will immediately turn on you again for the rest of the game. Because you basically go up there and promise him, okay, okay guy, I'm not going to kill the beasts. You're chilling on this tower. I'm down here in the thick of it, but alright, I won't kill him. It's more or less what you say, but if he sees you kill one, he's like, oh, you traitor, you dirty rat. Level up first this time. Let's go to another point in skill. Now, we shall go take on Eileen. If you'll notice, if you go to Grand Cathedral, not functioning. Typically, if you see that, that means that 
there's like a new enemy or something has broken the lamp it's generally a sign that you need to go there but you have to go there on foot <clears throat> so let's go take out Eileen the Crow I wish I would have did her storyline because we could have got to her a lot quicker and been able to get the the Blades of Mercy. They're pretty sick and she actually uses them. The individual attacks on them, they're not too, too damaging, but the attacks speed up. Well, let's see what she has to say. Here in a little bit, she's actually going to disappear and she will go to the sewers behind where we fought Father Gascoigne. And at that point, uh, you can go back there and get a one-third of umbilical cord from her. But we are going to get the next one we need. Am I going the right way? Let's go this way. We'll get the next one we need from uh, Yusef Getter Clinic. Ah, oh, we're back to the Blades of Mercy. Yeah, the attacks speed up the more hits she gets in on you. So after, I think, it, starting on the fifth attack... Uh, she can really just start wailing away, so you don't want to get caught in that. But it works the same way once we pick them up. So we'll see. We'll see. Hey, big guy. And I've never actually... I've never done this at this point. I've usually got her quest line completed. And the last part of her quest... <clears throat> If you're actually following along with it, she'll end up here, and then you got to go inside and fight a hunter. And then once you do that, she gives you her little badge, but I'm assuming she's going to be in here. It's actually a good thing, because that other hunter that we have to fight is ridiculously hard. So let's see. Let's get rid of the whip. We're going in here blind, so... I've killed her at the start of the game before, just to get the swords early, so let's just hope she's not. Hey. Got her. We got enough blood vials. I'm just kind of trying to get a, a feel. You can definitely tell she's quick. I'm trying to get a visceral off on her if I can. That attack's pretty cool too. It lets you attack while dodging away at the same time. Ah, there we go. And the attacks with her are pretty fast, so it's kind of hard, you know, to get a. And the range on it is also short, so maybe we can just pick away at her a little bit. She's definitely getting more aggressive now. Just gotta use our range to our advantage here. Alright, she's almost down. try not to make the same mistake I made with that last hunter over in Yargul where I had him down to like no health and he killed my ass anyway 
blood drag from her. Crow Hunter Badge. So that's going to let you get her armor set as well as those weapons. And I kind of regret now getting my threaded cane up to plus nine because those swords can really do some serious damage, but we needed a better weapon. Okay, that's done. Let's go back to the first floor sick room. This video is going to be very short. I really did think it was going to take me longer. I, I kind of planned on dying at least, you know. Probably two, three times on uh, Dark Beast Parl. Maybe it's because we fought him a little bit later than a lot of people do. But that's all up to you. Go back, fight him whenever, or don't fight him at all. Okay, you'll notice I think the door is going to be shut, so we'll have to go. Yeah. We'll go outside and go around. That's why we opened that shortcut earlier. Here we go. Oh shit, I'm sorry people, I didn't mean to step on your, your gravestone there. It's no wonder so much shit's happening to this character. Whoa, uh, whoa. And I don't feel like fighting. Oh, sucky face there. So let's just go up get this knocked out pretty quick and then we can get prepared let's see what else do we have to do we've got to do the lecture building the second floor and then we can go talk to old patchy pink patches okay so this time hang a left right out the gate and then we'll take the first right do you see those flashing lights I've seen those every time I came in here I don't know if it's a, like a glitch with the game or if it's supposed to mean something. I am at least glad I figured out that mysterious elevator path. Kind of feel stupid once I realize that. Oh well, we got it all sorted. All sorted. I think there's a is there a chest in here somewhere or something? Maybe not. I guess not. Okay, this is gonna be her. And you can talk to her, and she's like. Uh, no, I'm not a chick. Yeah, they're writhing. We'll fix it all up for you. And she goes down with a single hit. One third of umbilical cord. That's pretty much it. She actually puts up more than a f more of a fight, rather, if we'd fought her earlier in the game. So, the one third of umbilical cords. If you don't already know, those are going to be to get the true ending of the game. We need three total. We'll, we have two right now. We'll get one from the uh, Murgo's Wet Nurse. That's coming up in a little while. Oh, Upper Cathedral Ward. I can't forget about that. That's what we've got to do next. Upper Cathedral Ward. That would have been f funny if I'd forgot about it. Yeah, so that's going to be the last... Uh, area that's he almost got us that's optional and there's gonna be two bosses there I think it's the daughter of Ebriitis and then <clears throat> I don't I don't remember what the other one's name is descend oh that's back to the we don't want to go down there okay so I guess we'll go back to the lamp yeah so the next episode is going to be Cathedral Ward Variety Upper. And if you remember when we went to, as soon as you get to Cathedral Ward, hang a right and then take that elevator. 
and you basically climb all the way to the top there's that doorway at the very top that's locked and we'll be able to get in there so that's going to be it I think for this episode guys uh, if you enjoyed it please let me know in the comments below or if you have any questions or just want to say Chad you're an idiot for not remembering about that elevator and what it was feeling dumb about that and uh, if you'd like to subscribe and uh, leave a like I yeah, appreciate it guys we will see you back for episode 17 I believe It'll be the upper cathedral ward we'll take both of those little fellas on and then that will be be pretty close to the end of the game all right thanks guys